welcome you all today we are going to talk about the terminologies in connected speech and those are stress rhythm and intonation i already have conducted these three individual lectures on these terms but today i'm going to make differences between these terms this topic is from the subject phonetics and english phonology english go 203 we already have conducted 18 lectures in this our lecture series program and this is our lecture number 19. So without a further go, let's talk about our today's topic. And number one, that is stress. A stress in simple words means putting emphasis on a word or syllable in a sentence. So when we are putting emphasis on a word or syllable, in a sentence that is called stress, a listener often hears a stressed word or syllable as being louder, higher in pitch and longer than the surrounding words or syllables. So usually listeners, they listen or hear the stressed uh, part of the word as louder, higher in pitch and longer than the surrounding words or syllables. For example, here are the words. The word is engineer or English and photograph. So when we talk about engineer, we are actually putting a stress or emphasis on second part of this word as near. And this symbol usually um, is actually the symbol of a stress. So here we recognize that this part is actually, uh, we are putting emphasis, engineer. Or here is another word that is English. So we are putting a stress on the first part of this word. Or here is another word that is photograph. So photograph. So we are putting emphasis on the first part as pho. Pho photograph. So photograph. So a stress is actually putting emphasis on a syllable in a word or in a sentence. That is known as a stress. Here we are going to talk about rhythm. Rhythm refers to the pattern of stressed and unstressed syllables in speech or writing. So rhythm is actually the pattern of uh, the stressed and unstressed or de-stressed words uh, in a speech or writing. For example, the poem Humpty Dumpty. There is a line in this poem that is Humpty Dumpty said in a wall. So actually, where the stressed syllables are in this line, the stressed syllables are hum, dum, set, wall. So we are actually putting emphasis on a hum and uh, de-stressing the other part of this word, pity. Hum, t, hum, t, dum, t. So we are putting emphasis on hum, and dumb, and we are de stressing or unstressing T and set on a wall. So we are putting an emphasis on wall and de stressing the other words as on a, on a wall. So this um, pattern of uh, stressed and unstressed uh, syllables uh, in a, a speech or writing that is known as rhythm. This actually rhythm create a regular beat in a poem. Intonation is, is actually change in pitch. What is pitch? Pitch is highness and lowness of voice. So sometimes we are uh, putting emphasis and making our voice high, sometimes low, high, low. That is actually called pitch. So change in that pitch, sometimes high, sometimes low, that is called intonation. And there are actually three intonations. For example, the sentence is, I love going to bazaar. So when we are actually lowering our uh, voice, we are making this symbol, I love going to bazaar. Here is another sentence in which actually we are putting a highness to this word happy. And this symbol shows as highness of voice. As are you happy? Are you happy? So we are actually putting emphasis on this part of the word. Here is another example. 
and here actually we are uh, lowering our voice and then putting highness of the voice as it is there. It was interesting. It was interesting. It was interesting. So this actually the change in page are change of the highness and lowness of voice that is known as intonation. Thanks for attention. Thank you very much. Hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you.